Oh, this is what rural Afghanistan looks like. This is a little village in the countryside about 20 minutes from um, Mazar and Sharif. It's very beautiful, but um, it's very poor. This region is so poor that many people rely on handouts from the World Food Programme. Sabra is a widow with six kids. Her husband died last year. She survived solely on the monthly aid rations of lentils, wheat and oil. She uses the wheat to make naan bread, which provides most of their calories. There's two little kitchens. There's one, the tandoor oven is in one room, and the, uh, the, the oven for boiling things is, is in another room. And um, both rooms are full of smoke. And a lot of the fuel that they use is things like plastic bags, because they're there, and they're available, and it's, and it's fuel. And so it must be incredibly bad for your lungs. Along with naan bread, Sabra is making the daily meal of dal, a lentil stew. We heat the oil. If we have tomatoes, we put them in. Otherwise, we just boil the lentils. I would prefer to eat rice and meat. You need to eat them to be healthy. We're often very hungry. We've had so many difficult, hard times. If I was in this situation, I'd feel utterly helpless. I can't imagine being able to um, cope with not being able to provide for, for my family. It must be so difficult. Sabra's family is actually one of the lucky ones. The World Food Programme says it simply doesn't have enough money to feed everyone in need across the country. Um, would it be OK if I taste a little bit of the food? It seems very naughty for me, seeing as you have so little food, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> so this is dal and, and a kind of wholemeal pita bread. Mm. It's really nice. Almost tastes like it's been made with chicken stock or something. Do you think your daughters are going to have a better life? Are you optimistic for their future? I want them to go to school. I didn't have a good life, and I hope it will be different for them. That's my heart's desire.